my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a very basic, straightforward, easy tutorial on this plaster art. It is so much easier than you would expect, I promise. Let's get into it. First, I started with two canvases. I bought them in 30 by 40 inches because my wall was quite big and I wanted it to you know, kind of be the centerpiece of the room above the couch. So I wanted the artwork to be quite big. I wanted the art to be continuous across the two canvases. So I got them in the same size, obviously do whatever you want. And I first started with a bucket of drywall compound. It's also called joint compound. I happen to have this big bucket in my basement because my husband was using it for house projects, but I just scooped it into a different like empty bucket so that I could work with it and dye it some different colors. So I wanted mine to be kind of like a terracotta color. And so I'm taking acrylic. So this is the water-based paints. You do not want to use anything oil-based. Make sure it's water-based. And I ended up having to mix more of this in than I thought. And I kept having to adjust it. You do have the option of just going in with the joint compound without dyeing it and then painting it after it's dry. For me, I really like the look of the uniformity and color better by dyeing it. And so that's why I did it this way. But I've seen friends do it the other way around. And it really just depends on the vibe you want to get. So I use this little spatula thing um, just to slap it all over the canvas in like the shape that I wanted. I just spread it on, make sure I got all the edges and I tried to get it on there pretty thick, but I didn't really know how much I needed and I didn't want to run out. Next, I took this adhesive trowel. You can find this probably in like the tile section of home improvement stores. And I use like the jagged edge to scrape the compound on here. So the nice thing about this is you actually have time to work with this. If you are going over it and you don't like the way it looks, you can just go right over it again. Like this is such a forgiving art form and I am just kind of making some wave shapes and kind of just, you know, going over it until I felt happy with it. But as you can see here, it's not kind of filling the valleys of the trowel very well. And I actually figured out that it was because I didn't have enough on there. So if you're seeing that, just put some more plaster on and kind of just go over it again. And I must have gone over just this one canvas like 30 times, no joke. And you have, like I said, lots of time to work with it. So you kind of just do it until you're happy with it. And then I went on to the second canvas and started working on that piece as well. So after I did this section down here, I wanted to move to the section on the top and I wanted this to be a lighter version. So I just took the rest of what was in this bucket and I added some more joint compound in there, but no more paint. It kind of looks like chocolate ice cream. I want to say like soft serve ice cream. Anyway, I kind of just um, changed angle. So I, you know, turned around and I'm working on the top part of it now. And same thing as I did on the bottom. I'm just like getting this stuff on there and spreading it out, making sure that there's like a layer everywhere and also making sure that uh, all the edges are covered. That's just kind of like the design I wanted to go with. And again, wanting to spread this over the two pieces of canvases as well. So just dumping this on there. And then I'm taking the straight side of that same like jagged edge trowel that I was using earlier. And I'm just kind of making waves, kind of like how I would frost a cake, kind of. I think I ended up spending more time on this side than the first side because I didn't know how I wanted the waves to look, but I really liked how it turned out. I let it dry for about four days, and then I decided to actually coat it with water-based satin polyurethane, um, partly because my husband had it in the house, but partly because I just wanted to make sure that you know, it wasn't going to do something weird like absorb water. I actually don't know if this step is necessary, but I went over the entire thing, like the canvas, the drywall compound, like everything with a thin layer of this. And I just felt like that protected my art a bit. Uh, I don't know if that's actually real or like I said, if you have to do it at all. I would just say if you do want to do this, make sure you get the water based because the oil based will actually tint your art a little bit yellow. Um, so you, the water base is like actually clear. So that's the one you want if you're going to do this step. So yeah, that is it. I told you it was easier than people think it is and it just looks so high end. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.